This is Martin Fackler with the New York Times reporting from Natori. The city was made famous by these aerial images of the tsunami that swept ashore, basically obliterated the town and the farmland around it. And it was one of the first images from Japan that really was known internationally. Today, the town really looks like a war zone. What was left of a community of about 10,000 people was just a flattened plain of shattered boards and crumpled and discarded cars and clothing, shoes, golf bags, all sorts of things just scattered everywhere. Rescue workers were going through the debris trying to find survivors and also the remains of the victims. One interesting thing is these rural areas of Japan have a very rapidly aging populations. And so it's, it sounds odd, but it actually becomes a very big issue because it affects not only survival rates, but also how do you handle the survivors? What sort of needs do they have? What sort of care do they need? And it's very different if you're a 75-year-old survivor versus a 25-year-old or a young family, which the things that you might need, the sort of medicine, the sort of care, is very different. And so it, Japan has to learn how to deal with disasters when a great portion of your population affected is elderly.